Welcome to Ellie Goldsmith's United Flow podcast. We are going with the United Souls focus and thankfully we are heading this week in another two days to Rosh Hashanah, the new year, the happy new year that we all pray it should be sweet and blessed. And thank you so far for joining me these past few years on my Unity Flow podcast by Ellie Goldsmith. It's been a real appreciation, all the listening and the feedback and the Unity projects that we've managed to do. I'm just going to give a little bit of a summary of what went on this year. Thankfully, it's been obviously a challenging year, the Corona Challenge virus year, and uh, hopefully instead of virus, um, all the good things we're doing went viral in a positive way. People have been listening and sharing and being involved. And the goal is obviously just beginning because the whole concept of unity as we've been speaking about in our Amuna is our future podcast is to reach the tachlis, the purpose of unity and redemption we don't want to just stay with you know a small following and and just continue but we want to go down the path of united souls where we join together on a real practical daily level and that is why um, this year one of the highlights was thankfully um, i joined a group on zoom with jeff pulver and over there i got a lot of inspiration to write my first book called united souls and it would be a journey towards reunification everyday life. But what came before that was the United Souls number one album, which right now we're just going through some technical challenges. Um, hopefully it will have all the uh, artists totally happy because there's one artist, unfortunately, a song didn't upload for them on their side. So we're just going through all the distribution stories. Just one of the, you know, the little sagas that goes on when you try to do these projects, collaboration projects. And the good news will be that hopefully we'll have it um, fixed ho- by, where let's say, the middle of Tishrei should be a positive outcome and the album can stay there online. Um, the good thing is we're flexible. We do have a single start over and we can always re-release United Souls number one. Um, the goal is to get to United Souls number two um, with even more established artists, even though the ones there were amazing, United Souls number one, but we'd like to you know, scale it and it maybe include some of the, the, the talented artists from the first one, because for example, Rafael Ben has put out another new song, Ben Adam, I was happy to share it, and it's excellent quality. So the truth is all the artists, you know, Shafario, um, Seventh Day, they're all putting out great music, so there's no reason why we can't carry it on into the United Souls number two and include also some established artists like Nissan Black and some other friends of ours that we've been working with, maybe possibly people like uh, Ben Blackwell or Subliminal we're speaking to now for next year for the Muna class. You never know how far it can scale. The point is that we're available to do that. It was a new artist I came across thanks to Jeff Pulver called Peter Katz and it would be amazing if we could include him and uh, also working on the women's album we'd like to call it Key, like Colisha and it will be um, hopefully open to all kinds of different talented people, we're still waiting to see if there's some of the artists out there are going ahead, we do have Francisco who's interested and Esther and Judith Gersey, but we'll talk about that more as it comes together so with this definitely uh, an open book it's just like i'm writing this book everything's very open right now for the new year but it, all the foundational um steps were taken in tough shin pay in the, this year 2020 or even before that 2019 i mean just to sum up personally like i was able to at the beginning of the year start off on a very strong note with a beautiful tishrei and yushalayim everything thank god was very successful with the, with rosh Hashanah in uman it was a beautiful um, one of probably the best time of my life, I have to say, last year, t- 2019, Uman. It was really beyond an amazing way to start the year. I, was, I feel so honoured that that was the opportunity given to me um, with all my friends and be able to be part of Rav Orish, Shalom Orish. My son was there, Bar Kitak, and, you know, I, thank God, met and networked with so many good people and I was able to pray and, and do service and, you know, to have um, the opportunity to... Um, to be part of the concerts with Nissan Black and Matt Dub, DJ Matt Dub, and all the other good talented artists there. See people like you know Mayor Kay and uh, our friends from the Lighthouse, uh, Michael Ben Melech, all the good people. Gedalia Fenster, go to his classes, and um, you know the, the more established people on him like with Maimon and you know the obviously Rav Orish and. It was just amazing, the, the unity and the feeling of, of oneness and all the different 
great people that we were able to connect with. All my older rabbis from back in the day when I first came to Israel were there. A lot of them, uh, like Moshe Chanet, and I'm just mentioning all these names of people out there who know. And one of my best, best friends, Menach David, who's just been reaching out by WhatsApp, I'm going to have to answer him in a minute. Um, and he's, you know, I get to only usually see him by an Uman Rosh Hashanah and maybe one time in the year in Israel. But it was just, uh, it was amazing to spend quality time with all these people. And I thank Hashem I was there last year, especially now this year, how difficult it's been to get to Uman. And I just got a direct message from Rav Orish and Rav Elgrod that they're really trying hard. The bureaucracy is really not opening any doors right now. But um, we should not give up to the last minute. But right, it seems likely I'm going to be in Yushalayim and it could be a lockdown three week Yushalayim. I spoke about it in my Muna class. You can go there and hear more about it. But the uh, just to sum up as well, as we went through the after Tishrei and we were back in Yushalayim for Yom Kippur and Sukkot, and we were able to build together a beautiful foundation for the uh, 2019 Amuna tour. I mean, this is all part of this one year. It's just unbelievable to think as we think of it 2020, but it really was 2019 and the Jewish calendar began, you know, in September time or whenever it was with Shona. And it's just amazing to think, wow, that we went and did this tour. Um, after Sukkot and Simchas Torah, I had a beautiful, uplifting experience with the family and a lot of friends, a lot of good moments. Also, a concert with Nissan Black, and the Sukkah was packed in Rav Osh's Sukkah, and there was a lot of other events going on throughout the Yom Tov. It was just amazing, amazing time. And then suddenly, you know, I'm off to all these amazing places in, in Canada, in Toronto, and then to Mexico City and Miami. Sorry, first Miami, then Mexico City, and then on to New York. And, you know, we were able to take Rav Orish and his tour and the Muna tour. And it was just, it was out this world, thank God, really inspiring. We were able to impact a lot, a lot of people. A lot of books were, you know, given away and sold. And a lot of people connected into our, thank God, our online tour, which is what we're doing now. And it was just amazing to, you know, be part of that process. And it's a shame that it looks like 2020 tour is not going to be in person. But once again, we do have the online platform. We've had this year already, thank God, uh, tens, maybe 20s of maybe 30 even, uh, probably more Muna classes for my own class. And Muna is our future class. I mean, uh, potentially, if I was able to do it weekly and I haven't actually looked at the numbers, but probably around 50 classes. So since the beginning of, you know, last year and it's amazing to think, wow, you know, like um, over 50 classes on all different subjects. And, you know, you can go to our YouTube channel and when is our future tour. And, um, you know, we've got a playlist and you can watch not just my classes, but also all the, the main highlights of the tours. And Rav Orish, when we had him in our studio, this last 12 classes that we spoke about a lot. And that was a success, you know, with all the different guests, you know, went through the list of who was there. Um, I just actually posted on Twitter a nice thing um, that... Our year of Amuna class number 13 is subliminal question mark because he is a friend of ours and would be interested in starting the new year maybe. Anyway, let's say Shana Tova, a special guest to be announced. So we're going to do our live feeds and we've had Shlomo Katz, Mordechai Ben Avram, Yosef Daniel, Shlomo Yik Zions, Eliezer Kosman, Kosoi, El Nata Malu, Menachem Herman, Asaf Harish, Rav Yonatan Galeid, Nissen Black, Ben Backwell, Nissen Black we had twice. Um, you know, it's just amazing, you know, like, um, you know, personally with the booking as well, obviously the year starts off strong with a lot of the bookings in America and this in black we got him to uh, Canada at the beginning of the year if I remember right oh wow it feels so long ago and then we had the Hanukkah tour and um, we had lots of tour events all around we had weddings we had all kinds of stuff going on for the corona challenge just about to go into Istanbul and then that was the beginning of the cancellations and then we had to refocus on online you know so many online classes yesterday we just had one with uh, SCAR uh, a high school program in New York it was, seemed like very successful over 400 girls and more people were tuned in on the zoom chat and uh, it's just amazing you know go through all these things you know Nissan Black's really upset make it also amazing impact not just on Muna classes but also with his music his new music I've been happy to promote it and share it and get it out there all the new videos and hopefully it's been a successful growing year for him even though it's been very challenging as a music artist as all our music artists I mean I did have a lot large and I still have it the long and list of music artists available for booking uh, Nuriel and you know uh, Isaac and Rubenstein all these artists I'm contracted to book with and happy to you know make make bookings for them online and hopefully as things open up in person um, so you guys out there have my links and you can reach out to me for the artists I have and uh, 
you know, unfortunately because of Corona challenge, just as we're about to really kick off the summer with a lot of bookings, so then we had to like, you know, re, re uh, evaluate and unfortunately a lot of those opportunities didn't develop. So but the, the focus once again has been to keep up my podcast. I have my relationship flow podcast and a unity flow podcast and the what is our future podcast, all three of them have been going weekly and we've been posting some other great speakers and talented people like Gadalia Fenster, Renatan Galade in English and also our uh, Muna class in our new studio with Ravorish. All 12 of them are on the Muna as our future podcast and over on the Unity Flow podcast. We posted a lot of them because they were definitely consistent with our Unity focus. And the Relationship Flow podcast has been exclusively about relationship flow. Um, but I'm happy, you know, to, to share other people's ideas if anyone wants to send me. All the links are below. I, I ask you guys to collaborate. I mean, that's really what's going to end off this year on a positive note. The collaboration album that we put out is there and you guys can listen, the United Souls. And please, God, you know, can just scale, you know, to many more United Souls albums and the book, which I'm working at every night, uh, disciplining myself and all the developments personally with my family. I mean, it's just unbelievable what my wife's accomplished and everything we set out to do, she's accomplished. And um, she's she's definitely going to be someone who, once she puts herself out there publicly, all her development is just amazing and awe-inspiring. So you guys stay tuned to meet my wife I and mean, my soulmate. She's someone extraordinary person. And, and also my children, you know, they're all getting to that next stage and they've got late teenagers and they're all going through their, you know, finding themselves stage and it's exciting to be part of that. And thankfully we've had a lot of articles in Anatomy Magazine, which I had a few letters prints posted as well. And, uh, you know, let's hope that the Uman one ends off on a positive note. Ravosh is there and hopefully there'll be good news. More people will be able to get in. And in the meanwhile, even if not, they will all be able to get the message and hopefully this year will be a blessed year. It should be a year of, like we spoke about in our Muna podcast, it should be a year of uh, redemption and unity. You produce an achdus, pay aleph, tafshin pay aleph. It's a year there should be so much redemption and unification and all the different things we're talking about in the United Souls book about, right, these are the titles like personal branding, 2020 vision, turning that, you know, dealing with the corona challenge with more unified approach, the 10 habits of truly, truly unified people, the inner journey, the path of balance, marriage as a model of united souls, tuning into the soul, God what is the greatest distraction the power of united souls begins the light of the struggle actually requesting the oneness and what happens when we choose not the path of the soul that was my last chapter which is not going to be a hard one to write it's a bit more going into the, the the darkness side of it we have to deal with the pain and the struggle before the new year begins and then hopefully we'll have the beginning of a new year sweetness and that might be my next point how to really tap into the sweetness and pleasure of life within the unity flow and it shouldn't be a, a contradiction the life should be enjoyable and everything we're doing should be with with simple with joy with happiness and we shouldn't let any of the challenges that we've been going through this this past year hold us back like we're very sack said lord sax uh, shouldn't let the past hold back i mean it was amazing he featured on tim ferris's podcast and you know all the other podcasts out there there i feel like there's a lot of positive thoughts going on with lewis Howes and you know tom billiu and you know uh, even joe rogan you know with his funny way of it, it's all coming together all these different people hopefully in a more positive direction and uh you know nissen black and uh, with good news was also um going to be on the ben shapiro show which is very exciting you know it hasn't been released yet but that will be an exciting development and uh, to hear his interview about you know making kosher rap um and but at the same time making it mainstream and and relatable to everyone universal and that's our whole message how to be more universal to bring out the principles of unity and torah and spirituality into the world so that we can live in a better world and this next year can be a world that we want to bring our children it has future has positivity and you know thanks again for joining us see all my links below please send me your unity flow and i have to thank sham again for a beautiful year of, of a lot of accomplishments and i can you know internalize that and then go ahead with a lot of excitement for all the new projects the unified souls books and the and the different podcasts and the different studio opportunities you can send me any of your ideas who you think should be a guest like i said subliminal is the first in mind but there's plenty plenty we can re-repeat all the ones i mentioned and hopefully even have newer people that will want to come by someone made a joke maybe cat stevens you never know and then we'll continue on with all the other things the community jeff polver's building and online and then all the the things at home and just to be able to keep developing and journeying and bringing that unified flow for a unity uh, flow year of 
as we said, unification and redemption. Amen. Happy New Year.